Commit to being a problem solver. That is one of the key ingredients to making money online or in any business that you decide to pursue. Hey, this is Angela Carter with EarnMoneyWithAngela.com. And so I wanted to share this a video with you, um, just kind of sharing some tips that I wanted to communicate because I am seeing this problem keep coming up and not only my strategy sessions that I'm doing with people who want to be able to make money online, but I also am seeing this in just my day-to-day -day consultations with people who I interact with every single day uh, about their challenges that they're having marketing and making money online. And so this is something that I'm seeing that's missing in a lot of people, and so I want to talk about this in this video. So how do you make money online? or How do you make money in whatever it is that you're promoting, your business, your products, your services? It's committing to being a problem solver. And I thought about this example um, to kind of give you a real life, real world example that you can see that you can take from and really apply to whatever it is that you want to do online. There's this R&B super group called TGT and it consists of three individual R&B solo acts that were successful in their own right. And TGT, TGT the letters, stand for each uh, the first letter of each of the individual solo acts. So TGT stands for Tyrese, Genuine, and Tank, which were three individual R&B solo acts that decided to come together and form an R&B music supergroup. Well, the reason why I'm talking about them in this video of being a problem solver, and this is how you make money, is that they came together and they ended up selling a lot of albums because they committed to being a problem solver. And here's how they did it. Uh, I don't actually listen to R&B music anymore, but I do listen to mainly Christian and gospel music. But when I used to listen to R&B music, I actually were familiar with each of these acts, Tank, Tyrese, and uh, Genuine. And so when they came together, I was very interested and intrigued because I'm like, how, how is this going to sound, all three of them together? And so I ended up uh, listening to some of their interviews that they were doing for their promotional tour for their album. And what I noticed was they were very different from a lot of acts that you see because a lot of artists, they come on and they do interviews or they do promo, they do television show interviews or radio show interviews, and they're talking about either their personal life or they're talking about like either the producers they work with and, and the songs that they created, but they don't really talk about the purpose for why they uh, exist as an artist, why they even got in the game to begin with, and their purpose for the album that they created. But TGT did did so they did differently and here's what they did in their interviews they talked about the purpose for why they formed and why they came together and they talked about how they committed to being a problem solver they said the reason why they formed together and formed this R&B supergroup is because they felt like R&B music was in a state of emergency that R&B music was dying that the women that support R&B music and support R&B artists were not being served they weren't being given the music that they wanted and that the women were frustrated with it and they were frustrated because they felt like R&B music took a turn a total 360 change from what it used to be about the R&B music used to be about love about romance about pouring your heart out to the woman that you love pleading to have her back showing and expressing to her how much you love her and now R&B music kind of took a turn for the complete opposite they talk about clubbing and and you know uh, it just all this different stuff that that R&B music was never originally was about to begin with and so they said, you know, we wanted to form this super group because we wanted to bring that romance, that love, that conviction to R&B music that used to used to exist and that women are hungry for. So here's what TGT recognized. They understood their demographic and they understood their target market, but not only that, they understood the frustrations that their target market was experiencing with music and with the industry and with the genre that they were in. And they led with that in their marketing, in their interviews. They talked about that. They didn't talk about, oh yeah, I worked with this producer and I worked with that producer and we just thought that you know we were the greatest, hottest artists and that what we had was amazing and we had a great album and a great product. They talked about the fact that they had a great album and a great product, but they first started every interview. It was like, the same they said the same thing they had the same core message everywhere they went and they talked about hey we want to bring army music back here's what women are saying women are saying 
you know, that they don't believe these young guys, these young R&B artists that are coming up, they don't know anything about love. They don't know how to express love. They haven't went through enough love and enough, enough pain. And they talked about how, what made them unique, because they were older now. These artists, Tank, Tyrese, and Genuine, they're older. And so now they're coming into a marketplace where there are a lot, they're competing against a lot of young R&B acts like Chris Brown, Trey Songs, you know, the Ushers, all these younger cats. They're now competing against them, and they said, you know what? What makes us different when you listen to our album is that we've lived this. <laughs> we've been through some things. We understand the pain. We went through it all. And you hear the conviction in our voices that you don't hear anymore in songs. And that piques the attention of their target market, of their demographic of women. So not only did they talk about that, but here's the second thing that they did. They talked about how there was another problem that they wanted to solve, and that was the problem of people buying albums and listening to an album and being disappointed because there were only maybe two strong songs on the album and the rest of the album was filler. And they talked about how people could no longer you know, put an album in and play it from start to finish. And they said, you know what, we created a masterpiece. We created an album that we call, it's a press play album. You can press play and have it run from beginning to end and you don't have to skip songs. Now that is huge for a, a music lover, for an R&B lover, for someone who you know has bought music in the past, bought albums in the past, and it ended up not being great. They ended up in their marketing, in their interviews, TGT addressed a concern that their target market had. Is this album really that good? Is it really worth it? Should I really buy it? They addressed that and they said, you know what? We have an album that you can press play and listen to from beginning to end. But here's what they also did. They took it a step further. They provided proof. They said this and they did this, which is genius in my opinion. They hosted an online album listening party that was open to the public because most artists have listing parties but it's only reserved for a few people and they don't um, do it online but you're seeing more and more artists do it online now and they said look before you buy we want you to experience our music uh, and we want to give you a sample of our album and just to show you that we've created a masterpiece masterpiece here we want to give you proof we want to let you sample it before you buy it and they did that and they ended up selling a lot of albums and that is because they decided to become a problem solver. So I say all of that to say this. The key to making money online with whatever it is that you're promoting, if it's music, if it's books, if it's a business opportunity, if it's a service, you have to commit to being a problem solver. What problem are you going to solve for your industry? Think bigger. Don't just think about whatever product or service that you do, but how does this solve a problem, a frustration that people have and that they're experiencing in your industry? How are you uniquely solving that problem and are you saying that? Are you leading with that in your marketing? If you're not, that is why you're leaving money on the table, my friend. That is why you're not experiencing the level of success that you want online and even just in your business, period. So commit to being a problem solver. Talk about the problems that you're solving and share and lead with that in your marketing. And secondly, provide proof like TGT did and show that you have already solved that problem and that you are solving that problem for other people in your target market. So your action assignment for today in today's video is to number one, get crystal clear on who your target market is. And number two, educate yourself on the problems that your target market, the problems and the frustrations that your target market uh, are experiencing. And number three, um, come up with some content that you can create that will allow for you to lead and talk about those frustrations, frustrations and those problems that your target market is experiencing and how you solve it. One of the best ways to do that is through content marketing, through blogging and by doing videos. It's by getting out there and being able to communicate that to your audience. That is how you're going to increase sales. That is how you're going to build your business is being able to lead with that. And content marketing gives you a great platform. A blog gives you a great platform to do that. And even just doing videos give you a great platform to be able to talk about how you're solving the problem that your target market is experiencing. So hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to learn how to do content marketing, if you want to learn how to do blogging and video marketing, to get out there and show and demonstrate to your target market that you can solve a problem that they're experiencing so you can begin to make more sales and make more money, go to earnmoneywithangela.com or 
if you're already on my email list just go ahead and get partnered with me by clicking on the join now button below and we will go through during our strategy session we'll talk about uh, your target market we'll figure out the problems that they're experiencing the frustrations that they're experiencing and we're going to show you uh, how to actually get in front of them online what are they typing into Google what are they already searching for and how you can get in front of them through video marketing through blogging to begin to establish that connection and help increase in them a desire for what it is that you have to offer so you can make more money online so I hope you enjoyed this video again commit to being a problem solver and you will start to experience the success that you are looking for bye